So Keita, so you are from the Imperial College of London. Tell me about the IH2 car from England. Hi there. Um, this is our uh, IRG 02 car. It's our second car and it's completely built by our students. This is part of our crew here. Um, we're basically in part of the Imperial College London and uh, as you can see here, we're built by about eight different um, departments and uh, we've got about 200 students working on this car at the moment. Yeah, about 200, about 150, 200 students from different um, departments. Uh, we're mainly the mechanical engineering department and we based ourselves, and this is a particular car from uh, Racing Green. There's also another car which is taking part in the Formula Student rather than, this is a Formula Zero tournament and this is the car for the go-kart and the Formula Student is a bigger car which contains, we, it used to be hydrogen fuel cell but now it's running on batteries now. It's still an electric car. Mm. But, yeah. Okay, how long did you take uh, on the world to, from E to Z to make such a car? Oh, it's been, this how many car has been on project for about three years now. And yeah, and uh, there's been a swap of generation, but we're about the third generation taking part. How uh, much did you take for the first generation? From sketch schema? No, no, I, I personally didn't, but there was other people who, like, the chief engineer last year took part from the first year, and he made most of the electrical programs and all the cars. Can, you do, can we, uh, in France, in six months, are we able to do such a car in engineering? Ooh. Um, it has to be dedicated. We're actually undergraduate students, so it'll be hard. we can't spend our whole life on this car. So we've got lectures and you know tutorials and things. But um, one or two years should get you a car like this. But the hardest bit would be the fuel cell on the back. That's actually very expensive. <laughs> it's not a cheap option. So how does it cost to to, to finance? To um, the fuel cell was actually um, half paid by by the Formula Zero company, the organizers of the race, and we paid about a third of it, and they've helped us on. Pun? They paid two thirds of the car. About a third, a third, 33 percent, I say. You, you, you. We, yeah, we paid about 33 percent, and and, the and then they will pay us back. In a sense, and the global budget is oh, of the whole car itself. The whole car for Imperial, uh, Imperial, we have well, we're collecting responses as well. Obviously, um, the university gives us money for research as well, so but it's mainly funded by sponsors, which we're trying to get. So, uh, uh, Imperial car, College car, car, H2 cars from London, how much on the world? Do you have any idea? Um, not exactly sure, but. On this car this year, on this car this year, we've got about um, about one th uh, about fifteen thousand pounds at the moment. Yeah, including all the travel fees and things. Ah, okay. So and development, of course. Uh, and only the travel to, to come here from here. Um, this time uh, it was all this one. This time um, the Torino Grand Prix is all funded by the Formula Zero organizers. So. Mm -hmm. uh, what you, what did you get interested in such a project? Why, what interested oh. you in such a project as a student? Why did you work for? Um, why, are you, why are you working on this project? <laughs> Basically, there's uh, we're part of the four-year university um, course, and in the third year, there's a group project to take part in, and you can choose any group project. So why but, did you choose this project? Oh, it, it did outstand. It, it's, we're mechanical engineers and I thought, you know, building cars, especially for the future as well, it's a um, fuel cell car, electric car, no emission, it's fantastic, isn't it, I think. Why fuel cell, fuel cell and not battery cars are, are you interested in? Um, I think it's just a really nice um, speciality to have, especially going on to jobs and things. Um, battery cars are getting more common. It's still hard to build, but fuel cell is a very new technology at the moment. And it's really hard to produce um, a nice you know, running car at such big size and so it, it's really limited. A big, a big size, normal mm -hmm. car, when, uh, from your point of view, mm -hmm. when the general public, you and me, can mm -hmm. buy a, a hydrogen fuel cell car in the future, 
mm -hmm. years, years, um, cars are actually getting more realistic now. Um, like the Japanese companies are bringing out loads of um, hydrogen fuel cell cars. Like Honda, Toyota, they're bringing out um, FCVs, fuel cell vehicles. Yes. And um, it won't be much matter of time, like you know the Toyota Prius. It's a hybrid car, but hybrid is always a possibility, especially when you can charge up some um, power from when, um, when other sources. When the Japanese will commercialize such a fuel cell car? For um, probably within within next three years, hopefully. Three years? Yeah, next oh, three years. So 2015. 2015. Well, sure, there will be fuel cell cars running around, but so still. And in England. Um, it depends, because it's more the development is underway, but it's more the hydrogen, which is very expensive at the moment. It's hard to take out hydrogen. To produce it, what is the main difficult to, to get a public car? Is, is this mm. hydrogen production? And yeah, very much so. At the moment, it's more hydrogen production, which is delaying all the. Um, what is the political point of view in England, uh, UK, about the hydrogen? production and distribution for products, um, uh, as in Japan or in California what is the mm, status right now status I think because all the Japanese companies and American companies that are coming into Britain I'm sure there will be some um, development after a while but at the moment uh, not that much because you know I haven't seen much Prius is getting very com popular in England but fuel cell cars research is underway but it might take a while for it to be on the actual streets and uh, obviously I don't know Gordon Brown needs a bit of agreement on cost and <laughs> all those things. Uh, 